Welcome to this edition of 201 Today. In this episode, we'll be looking at the Engineering Students Day of Innovation, Boys Rugby, Girls Soccer, and the Monarch Festival at the Freshman Center. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of 201 Today. What can you tell us about this event? Um, this is an event that showcases uh, my seniors, mostly my seniors' projects. It's uh, the kids have gone through three years of engineering and uh, they've developed skills along the way uh, with robotics and programming and uh, visual communication using uh, 3D parametric software and it's all coming together where today they are unveiling inventions that they've made and been working on for the past five months. What problems were you trying to solve with your project? Uh, there's been a lot of accidents in school zones, so we made a device that cautions drivers to drive down, like drive slowly and take precautionary measures when there's children in session of school. What problem were you trying to solve with your project? So our product was um, designed to implement this um, like system or beeping device, basically to alert them that they're in a school zone and there's a bus nearby or a stop sign nearby, so they stop or they slow down. What was the problem you were trying to solve with your project? So the problem we were trying to solve for our project was trying to prevent many accidents that occur in school zones as that was a big issue that was uh, occurring in the news. What was the problem you were trying to solve with your project? Our problem that we were trying to solve was that sometimes when you have too much oil in a pan, it uh, burns up and it could cause a fire. But with this, uh, you could place it over and it would just uh, eliminate uh, the fire. What was the problem you were trying to solve with your project? We were trying to help people with disorders, well, mental disorders such as depression, stress, and anxiety. What problem were you trying to solve with your project? Uh, the problem we were trying to solve was more um, the issue that a lot of people in the world are both either blind or visually in, um, impaired. So we were trying to f uh, create a device that would help them uh, navigate their day-to-day -day tasks with ease. What were the problems you were trying to solve with your project? We were trying to solve the problem that there, there's devices out there for the blind and visually impaired. That there, there's too many uh, devices out there that are too expensive. And we wanted to make something that was more affordable for the public. What can you tell us about the students' prototypes? I am really excited about the integration of technology by our students this year. Um, they've They've risen to the challenges of, uh, of integrating technology, and this involves new devices, programming, fabricating the things, making them all come together and work. Um, I'm pleased. I'm just really pleased. What can you tell us about the budget? The budget we had was actually a self-made budget. We wanted to keep the entire device under uh, $100 with our uh, current prototype, which uh, the total cost uh, came out to $58. Our project was actually supposed to be under $50 for us to make the model and make the actual product. And um, we exceeded it over a little bit, like by a couple of like, dollars. But that was just because of um, our, we use our Arduino boards and our wires and um, we implemented like a, a design model of like cardboard and uh, mi miniature models, and essentially the budget for our product was almost met. What are Arduino boards? Um, Arduino boards are pretty cool. Um, these they're microprocessors, and basically what they allow you to do is uh, uh, upload a program to them, which will direct uh, various devices and there, we have loads of devices uh, the various sensors motion sensors heat sensors humidity sensors flame sensors the list goes on um, to to identify certain situations in their environment and then uh, respond respond with sounds respond with lights respond with uh, turning things on and off um, they're really a cool device and uh, these things are being taught to students in engineering uh, in engineering universities across the country so it's a it's a great experience for our students to get involved with these things what were some of the challenges you had working on this project probably one of the most difficult challenges I faced was coding because I was the only one coding so there was a lot of syntax errors and a lot of trial and error with the code that we had to do what were some of the challenges of working on this project so I'm um, working in this project 
we had to have a lot of problem solving. Um, some of the wiring that we did inside of our, our actual box um, would get confused, it would get um, re like um, disconnected or misplaced, like misplaced in the wrong spot where it wasn't supposed to be wired. And we also had to code for our project. And coding is um, sometimes can be a little bit tedious. So we had to like go and read each line to see what line of code we messed up and just to like make sure that everything was in the right spot. What were some of the challenges you faced with your project? So one of the many challenges that we faced was uh, mainly with the coding as uh, we tried to figure out what was the best kind of code to work with our sensors and also detecting, uh, well basically our project was detecting an object for right now in a simulated uh, environment. Some of the challenges we actually faced uh, were issues with both coding and the design. Uh, for instance, we did have issues where the code wouldn't work with certain uh, sensors or wouldn't work overall. And we did have some issues with design, such as the 3D printer would stop working, it would uh, print the 3D printed parts wrong, or we would have uh, various other issues with actually getting the whole uh, device to a smaller scale. Some of the challenges we faced with our project was the designing part of it and the coding part of it. With the coding, we had to ask a, a member from a, a student actually at NIU. He helped to uh, evolve this coding to what we have now. And for the design process, it was mostly because of uh, it was trial and error when we were making the, uh, the project itself. What did you like about working on this project? Um, I got to test out my abilities in engineering for coding and wiring as well as working with a big group and just it was like a sense of uh, teamwork and community and it was really great. What was your favorite part about this project? Uh, my favorite part was that I, I was able to work with, uh, with a great team. What was your favorite part about this project? My favorite part about this project was that we got to get it really hands-on and really creative. What was your favorite part about this project? Favorite part, um, probably actually coming up with the idea and working through it the entire time. Like the whole experience on, to me was honestly the best part. What was your favorite part about this project? I guess my favorite part of this project was uh, working as a team as uh, we overcame many obstacles that uh, were occurring when we were making this project. What did you like about working on this project? Probably learning the code because it'll probably help me in the future since I want to become an engineer. What did you like about working on this project? I like that we had, uh, my group had um, multiple people, so it was four of us in total, and we all had different ideas, and all of our ideas basically came together in this one model, and I also like that we got to learn more, that, more than we already knew, so a lot of us didn't know how to code, then we didn't know how to like wire, so we had to like watch videos and like, have references and ask for help in this project. But we basically all learned as a team and like cooperated with, cooperated with one another. Sorry, and um, we got to learn more about what like the traffic safety meant, and also the data collection in our product. We had um, we had to like well, test our actual device to see how it worked, and getting the data and calculating everything like the, to, to prove that our product works was kind of fun. Why do you think it is important for students to work on these types of projects? Um, I think it's really a great preparation for what comes beyond. Most of these kids are going to be going into engineering and technical fields and we've tried to set up our curriculum here to uh, give the students a taste of what's going to be expected of them when they go to college. Uh, some students from other schools, they'll show up at college and they've never used CAD software before. And our kids will have that skill and they're also going to have the experience of innovating. Beyond that, I would say uh, soft skills like talking. Uh, you know, if you look around the room right now, the students are engaged with, uh, with parents and uh, professionals about you know, explaining their projects, and it's a really exciting day for me and for them.